so now let us talk about a very important thing in patients of men syndrome let us talk about the concept of screening since men syndrome is a congenital disorder associated with many mutations if a patient is born if a newborn is there in a family of uh, men syndrome we always have a suspicion whether the baby could be a, a case of men syndrome or no so for that we have a screening protocol yes so let us talk about the screening this is very 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 for all important for all the exams so screening for men one when we talk about the concept of screening for men one it's very important so whenever you have a newborn whenever you have a newborn in family of men one what is the first thing that you are going to screen so in a family mem fam if there is a family member with men one how do you see this so first degree relative or a second degree relative of this men one the first thing that you screen is you search for menin mutation so you screen for menin mutation so screen for menin mutation when we talk about the concept of menin mutation either the menin mutation could be present or menin mutation could not be so if the menin mutation is absent if the menin mutation is absent then men one is actually ruled out so men one is ruled out if menin mutation is present is absent if menin mutation is present then what to do if menin mutation is present then the concept is very simple and easy very simple and easy what is that now you have to start the screening protocol so what why the concept is easy because we know the target three sites and three endocrine organs so start screening now what are we going to screen for we are going to screen for the three target endocrine organs even though biochemically the first defect is seen at the level of parathyroids but yes the structural defect may start early in case of pituitary so pituitary adenoma especially prolactinoma is the most early manifestation but since it is asymptomatic we don't even come to know so when we talk about screening the screening will start at 5 year onwards so at 5 years onwards at 5 year onwards you are going to screen for what pituitary so start screening of pituitary and how do you start screening pituitary screen screen pituitary by measuring annual annual serum prolactin levels so serum prolactin levels so annual serum prolactin levels are to be started 5 year onwards so for pituitary we start at 5 year onwards remember if it is found to be elevated yes you have to go for mri brain you have to go for mri brain in order to localize it then as the baby grows 8 so 5 and then 8 so 8th year onwards 8th year onwards what to do now you add parathyroids to you yes so start the screening for parathyroid when you talk about the screening for parathyroid how you do this yes you are going to go for annual we are going to go for annual serum calcium plus parath hormone you know i know everyone knows if this is found to be elevated if this is found to be elevated the diagnosis of hyperparathyroidism is confirmed and you will go for a cysta mb scan you will go for a cysta mb spect scan yes now once the baby grows 20 then you will start worrying about the pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor so remember this is very important 20th year onward 20th year onward add some important tools to screen for pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors so 20th year onward you are going to search for pancreas and duodenum and why you are going to search pancreas and duodenum for neuroendocrine tumors now you also know we also know what is the most important thing that you are going to screen for yes you are going to screen for serum gastrin levels because you know that gastrinoma is really very common then you are going to screen for 
क्रोमोग्रैनिन ए क्रोमोग्रैनिन ए यस सो स्क्रीन फॉर क्रोमोग्रैनिन ए वाई बिकॉज इट कुड बी एसोसिएटेड विद पॉलीपेप्टाइडोमा यू कुड बी स्क्रीनिंग फॉर सेरम वी आई पी लेवल्स सेरम वी आई पी लेवल्स बिकॉज इट मे बी एसोसिएटेड विद वी आई पोमास और इट मे बी एसोसिएटेड विद इंसुलिनोमा सो सेरम इंसुलिन लेवल्स इंसुलिन सो इंसुलिनोमा Now, when we start, when we talk about these gastrin levels, somatostatin levels, if they are found to be elevated, yes, they are found to be elevated. You are going to perform SRS, SRS, somatostatin receptor scintigraphy, somato, somatostatin, somatostatin receptor scintigraphy. Students, nowadays we have one more better option than this, or you can go for EUS. EUS. If it is found to be associated with serum, insulin levels are found to be elevated. Yes, then you will confirm it with what C peptide levels. You are going to confirm the C peptide, C peptide levels. And yes, you also have an option of going for EUS. So C peptide levels, you have to go for EUS, or you can go for a conventional MRI also. Remember, somatostatin receptors are not not present on all the insulin 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 tumors, and that is why we don't go for it. And then you will go for respective managements if they are found to be positive. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Preplada.